Hey folks, this is Umi Gaming back with a new Let's Try. Uh, trying a black geyser? Geyser? Okay. Must be geyser. Courier's Darkness. Um, for those unfamiliar with my Let's Tries, I play a game for between an hour and an hour and a half. Um, split into three episodes. Um, this is also going to be part one. Part two will be out at uh, 17.45 or quarter to 6 p.m. on Thursday, uh, UK time. And part three will be at the same time on Saturday. So, I'm not going to lie, I forgot to double check a few details on uh, this game, but it, uh, it's got 7 out of 10 on Steam, it's 3.8 out of 5 on uh, goodoldgames.com, or GOG, 6.5 out of 10 on TechRaptor. Um, it's available on Windows, Linux, Mac, operating systems, um, published by Great Ocean Technologies and V Publishing. And developed by Grip Ocean Technologies as well. So, released in August 2021. Uh, pretty best fantasy RPG. So, I got the vibe of something similar to Pillars of Eternity, but we'll, um, we'll have to see. Um, so, choose a character below and customize it or create one from scratch. So, we have a Dwarf Highlander. Um, we have an Elf Ranger. We have a Fledgen Winter Mage, maybe? Uh, human Fighter, Human Necromancer, Human Swindler, Human Templar, Gorilla Shaman. Let's create a new one. Because why not? So yeah, the three episodes, I don't cut anything out. That gives an idea of pacing and uh, gameplay. At least, that's what I believe it does anyway. Might be wrong, but hey ho, there we go. So, <clears throat> we have human, dwarf, elf, fledgegog, and rillo. Um, my blade is sure, my arrow true. So, elven tribes live close in north. Um, <clears throat> do, do, do. What do we do? What do we do? So, Coming so. serves where violence will not. Let's go, let's go. My blade is sure, my arrow true. Break in a rock or break in skulls, same to me. I am ready for battle. My blade is sure, my arrow. Okay, so that, that gives us um, what they're better at. So this is better at supernatural, it's got resistances, it's more health per level, more health to start with. Well, it's. Penalties to intelligence, charisma, and physique. What does Rillo? Coming serves where violence will not. Mm, better physique, less dexterity. Um, let's do Rillo. Why not? Um, so we've Eric. The light guides me in. Eric. Invoke. I am never lonely. My friends await my summons. Okay, so uh, Druid, Fighter, Highlander, Necromancer, Shaman, Spellweaver, Swindler, and Thief. Coming serves were violent. Or any physical armor can wield any weapon. Yeah, let's go with that. We'll use him like as a defender of sorts. Um Max Hell. Increases damage and max health, dexterity. Aiming accuracy. Intelligence, um, base energy, density of skills that depend on one's mental abilities to be performed. Uh, focus, critical chance, interrupt evasion. We get incoming attacks, retelligent and blocking, it increases the resistance to depressive and strain and pain effect. Mm, charisma. Critical chance, status chance, interrupt strength, bargain, persuasion skills, and various skills. Supernatural. Supernatural increases base health, resistance against heat, cold, and poison, and acid. Further abilities for warriors and outlaws increases the number of elevated energy slots for wizards and priests. Let's put a point in there. Um, so I want to 
want to get good physique. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay, so um skills and spells. Alright then. So I want So large blades. We long swords and great swords. I want Right, so we have a point up here. Target situation. Favorable prices with vendors, unlocks more options in dialogue. Uh, learning and research. Let's just go with that. Learn and research. Okay. Brain and um, drying. Half potions and powders, and various ingredients. So it's class specific. Seasoned warrior. Additional dialogue choices, themed around warriors. Um, health three games while resting in outdoor locations for all party members. Multiple characters can take this skill. Clan company. Uh, the group can designate various battlefield tactics to follow, which results in group-wide bonuses. New tactics become available. Four stores and locks. Science obvious. We'll be a seasoned warrior. Or no, I thought so. I seasoned warrior. Weapons. Five points. So I want small blades, large blades. Just keep them. And uh, battle axes. Four cut. Yeah. That. So, um, points to distribute to skills. Let's just put one and all. Script. Major color will be green. Minor color will be. Let's make things interesting. Let's go away. Skin color. Let's stick with the chest. And Let's go away. Let's change that there one to say a dark. Um, eye color, green or perennial. Hair color, stick with black. Um, let's go with that. I'm gonna give him a beard. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. Why not? Um. Hmm. Yeah, sounds about right. Um, yeah, let's stick with that. I'd like to create an additional party member. Characters, childhood friends of the protagonist, and will be completely loyal. No. I'd like to enable me in quest guidance. Yes. Why didn't I look here first? And more to the point, why must I come fetch you for every little thing? Um, sorry, who are you supposed to be? Sorry, what am I supposed to be doing? Or sure, sure, I'm on my way. What am I supposed to be doing? Ugh, you do know this is the day the Lords of Isselbright are visiting? You are simply the laziest... Never mind. Next. The Lords are already here and waiting to be served. And for goodness sake, don't forget to gather your things from your chest before you come to table. Okay then. Why do they, those guys have their weapons? They're 
received the quest. Inspect the objectives of your progress. Okay. Um, during your quest, press O. Oh, so. Write and read your own personal notes by navigating, so you can make your own stuff. Read about the world's lore by navigating to the compendium. Tab information about locations, creatures, people, and events are recorded there as you encounter them. So. Okay, so she's like a sister of those things. Um. Okay. Faintly gritty. Okay. Um. W A S D to move around. There's a cat. So, what do we reckon? Um, South Gate, Main Gate, Mesmerizing Colors. Um, so, we reckon this gets attacked, destroyed, and you get to uh, rebuild it? Yes, I would imagine that's going to happen. You know, all these nobles waiting to be served and whatnot. Guests are waiting. Right, so where is my chest? That's the maiden room, kitchen, buttery, my room, library, master suite, parlor. So we get my room, I go. I'll do it. Um, okay, that's that's my room. Um very just why not? Arming sword, claymore, chain meal, right. An item on your character, so it wants me to equip these in. I think the claymore is two handed, right? Yeah. Um, in room, find Berlin. Where's the room? twisting an ankle in all your hurry. You take care of the drinks. Lord Woolcraft and Lady Larenthal prefer wine. Lord Joran would like ale. Lady Virilin and Lord Espen want mead. Go! Woolcraft, I uh, hope I don't need to remember that. Woolcraft, Larenthal, wine. Joran, ale, and the other two, mead. Alright, so Wallcraft. Oh, the staff. Huh. 
Hello. Zara still prefer wine. Yes, yes, get on with it. I suppose you expect me to talk. Um. I'm guessing it probably tells me. Um. Alright, so. Jordan wants me. Jorn wants heal. Hello. Take the guy right with her old bullcrap. Well, you know this is supposed to be served at. Bullcrap, Larenthal for wine. Yeah. So you two want. You're here. Finally. Eat. Ah, good. Hello. Oh, the carriage was quite stuffy, and just what I wanted for a change. Great stuff in just what you wanted for a change, eh? Shall we do business, gentlemen? Gentle ladies? Yes, let's. We are convened to discuss the situation with Daron Gould. What has been rumored and suspected for so long has finally come to pass. A council of nobles with mining interests in the town have declared themselves independent from the crown of Isilmaran. I don't like this dirty business. Sending a list of grievances to the king. Sounds more like the actions of a bunch of uppity peasant farmers than nobility. There are ways these things are done. And there are ways that kingdoms may crumble. I understand your feelings on the matter, Lady Larenthal. But Darren Gould enjoys the sympathies of many important persons here in the north, and I number myself among them. What's more, there have already been defections among the Azimarald nobility, most recently Aldnar. She speaks of your son, Lord Espen, who chose to forsake his birthright to join the rebels. Ah, yes. Thank you, Lady Larenthal, for reminding me. And I'll thank you, Lady Virilin, not to speak his name on this estate, nor in my hearing again. Why, I will... <laughs> but you won't. Whatever the loyalties of, uh, the young Lord of House Espen, the Southern nobles have many legitimate complaints. Heavy. Some say ruinous taxation, delayed shipments thanks to the Crown's regime of inspections and checkpoints, the King's insistence that Daron Gould's military, e even the Town Watch, must be trained in the North. It's quite a list. Yes, it's all very sad. I'm sure they toss and turn the night away on their beds of gold bars. Taxation and bureaucracy are simply the facts of managing a prosperous nation, of keeping our enemies at arm's length. How long would their precious minds keep producing without the king's protection? Did you know, I heard this rebellion was prompted in part by a belief making the rounds in Deron Gould that the king himself is cursed. <laughs> oh my! What exceptional nonsense! <laughs> Have they been breathing the fumes of their own minds? All right, very amusing. But like Lady Varellen, I am not unsympathetic to our southern friends. Surely some of Isilbright's rules and dictums could be culled, especially if it means avoiding war. A much more costly proposition than losing a handful of coin in taxes. Wise counsel, my friend. But I fear the time for compromise is already past. The message from Daron Gould was deliberately provocative, leaving the king no way to negotiate or save face. The time has come, lords and ladies, for us to commit our forces and our purses to our rightful liege and crush Daron Gould. Or go in with the rebels. They have the gold, they have a well-trained army, and most importantly, they control the mines. In a conflict of any significant length, having control of the source of the kingdom's metals means they must only outlast the North rather than outright defeat her. 
You there. What is your opinion on recent developments? You're asking the errand boy? What does... Kindly do not interrupt me while sitting at my table, Lady Larenfall. Well, speak up. Each frustration must always be passed, especially if the only point of contention is money. Whether or not the end gold has legitimate grievances is besides the point. They must be crushed. The duty otherwise would invite rebellion from every quarter. Since I have little experience in political matters, for me the wisest course is silence. And it's good with having. Yes, a wise man must always be cognizant of his own ignorance. Thank you for reminding us all of that fact. Alrighty then. Iron boy with the sword out. My ladies, my lords, we are under attack. Please take shelter at once. Perhaps the cellar. You may wish to arm yourselves, my lords. Um, under attack by whom? Probably Darren Gould. They make no secret of their allegiance. They fly the banners of Darren Gould. And anything else? That one was far at the back. All I could see of him was his vibrant red hair, like a flame. I'll deny. How much time do we have? I'm afraid. Their numbers are overwhelming. We were forced to fall back to the main gate. Was well, this where an arrow hits him in the back of the head? Surely they will listen to reason, wherever they're from. They won't kill us out of hand like so many soldiers. They wouldn't dare. Right? Calmly, my friends. Let's all go out to meet them. They're not bandits after all. Yes, go ahead. You have my blessing to speak on my behalf if it's of any use. You? What? Where are you going? Come with me. Make haste. All right, let's throw on this stuff. Where'd he go? Wherever I'm needed, you and you lot with me. That's fine. The gate has already been breached. The house of Espen is about to fall to the agents of Daron Gould. Now, never mind that. Just follow, and you ready your weapon. With all the time you spend training under my master of arms, I should be able to defend myself by now, yes. Yes, my lord, just while we're, uh, you know. Okay, um, bit of my way. favoritism, I guess. Now listen to me. Listen closely. This is important. The Lady Esper was the love of my life. My one love. There was nothing arranged about our betrothal. <laughs> my lord. It sounds like fight is coming to us. Perhaps we'd best ready ourselves. We talk about your dead wife some other time, sir. And let's uh... be quiet. I tell you, you never saw her yourself. Not that you'd remember, but if you had, she 
can't stand these Derongold swine. Behind me is my dressing chamber. Go fetch my sword from there. My lord, maybe a few clever words would serve better than a sword right now. I'm ready to fight. Fetch your own sword. I'm no soldier, perhaps. I'll be spared if I surrender. Or at once. Yeah, alright. Must be Alnar, is it? Found you at last, father. Didn't figure you would try and hide from your fate. To be betrayed by my own son. Who wouldn't hide from such a terrible end? I've learned a few things, you see. Things your priests and men at arms could never teach. I have gained a new perspective seen the truth of this world so you were not even paid in coin to turn traitor against your own house only pretty words kill me if you wish but i promise it will avail you nothing every man pays for his sins my son and the price of a sin such as this well enough of your piety it sickens me but your last decision, at least, is the correct one. Hold still, father. Don't worry, my child. Your hardships are over for today. This arm really twisted in some weird shape, didn't it? 